episode 110. I hope you are very well this week and this week I have a bit of a treat for you. So I'm just going to talk about this song. I've been working on it for ages <laughs> and in fact back, back since Halloween basically when I was contacting some folk musicians and asking about good suggestions for ghost songs, this one came up and I have basically been working on it since then, trying to find really rich, kind of juicy accompaniments to go with it. I couldn't really tell you if my favourite folk song is the um, Unquiet Grave, like everyone else, or, <laughs> or if it's this one, but I think this one might be coming, <laughs> coming in as a favourite. It's a really eerie story. It's in various broadside ballads. I think it probably goes back to the Tudor era, so I've got a Tudor instrument to play on it. Of course, I use the gamba on lots of things, but the viola de gamba developed around the 15th century in Italy, spread over. It was really popular in the Tudor era in England with the Elizabethans. There's plenty of lovely English, Scottish music for it. It fell out of popularity in the 19th, 18th, 19th centuries basically when of course it was more or less replaced by the cello. Now cellos are brighter and they're louder and their tone is smoother. Well, especially if you're thinking of more modern cellos with metal strings. My gamba has four gut strings. And then the two at the bottom are also gut strings. They have a gut core and then they are silver wound. I think it makes a really sinewy, really kind of visceral sound. And I'm using some of its darker, dronier tones for... to set the scene for this ghost story. Now, the Holland Handkerchief has also been called the Suffolk Miracle, so I presume it's set in Suffolk. In the folk tradition it seems to be known more as the Holland Handkerchief. I don't think it's an amazing name, especially for a really cool ghost uh, story to be named after somebody's posh hanky. Anyway, we're stuck with it. <laughs> so what you perhaps, uh, as the story unravels, we gradually kind of realise the eeriness of the, of the night visitation. It's a night visitor song, there's lots of those, and lots of this notion that perhaps somebody would be given another, one more night with their, with their love, but as soon as dawn's coming near, then they need to, uh, they need to get out of, out of the way. <laughs> so, it has elements of that. It has a very brave girl in it and a very a very lovely lover, the way he approaches her. The, the detail in this song, words like he touched her hand, I find so incredibly beautiful. So this is one, well, I think I leak now that I'm planning recording another album very soon and I think this will be a song on it and it would be even very cool to make a video, not a video like this, but you know, uh, one where we enact the story a little bit, so more on that later. So, hmm, settle into your dark January night and here is a ghost song for you.
stretched a hand into your heart and say, rise, my darling, and come away. Twas with this young man she then got on, and they rode it swift See this gallant home.